Any more ether up? Just this one. So we can put those together. And we have 84, 28, 105. Is there anything else that we got? 102, 112, ooh, 98. To 116. I'll take it, 116. It's not necessarily the best. I didn't look around as much as I probably needed to, but honestly, at this point, I need more gems than I do uh, the I actual number. The quality is not necessarily as important as quantity for me right now. Yeah, I don't really care about the art seal resist, so let's go with the f physical defense down. And we lost the other one, but that's okay. 27. Not, not as high as I was hoping for, but you know what? We can make that work. We can make that work. All right, so next one, ether defense up. Uh, I think I have enough of those. I don't need more of those. The defense, just not my favorite. Agility up, that is going to be something that I still care quite a bit about. Uh, hopefully we can get higher than 129. Does not look like it. There doesn't, doesn't seem to be a lot going on out here. All right, so I can add these two together. And then we'll just stick with that. 112, though. Mm. 116, 117. Every point might matter. That's the thing. All right, 117. We'll try there. Hoping for a fever once more. Wish this actually gave us more affinity, but it does not work that way. All right, we got up to heat. Looks like I got some work ahead of me. All right, and then we got the bleed defense. Not that I care too much about that, but we got agility by 21. That's damn good, considering it only goes up to 50, so 21 significant. Anything else? Agility down, aerial cloak. There's an agility up and a bleed plus, but I think most of that's just going to be on the bleed plus. One of the strategies you can do is try to continue to level this up by the, the agility up by... Uh, putting it in and hoping that it doesn't get up to 100, turn it into a cylinder, and it will increase by the fact that you did, you know, play with it a little bit, but that's never been my go-to strategy for this one. All right, now those have the things that I want. I know that because, well, they didn't light up until I added it. All right, agility up. We'll, we'll do that up to 75. Everything seems to be this bleed defense that I don't care about. Bleed, bleed, bleed. I can add it in, but it's not going to be my favorite thing. I was hoping for more agility. Is that it for agility? It's going to be very disappointing if that's it for, for agility. It looks like that is it. So I need to go with it. Yeah, that is it. All right, we'll level up uh, bleed defense there. And we'll go with that. You know, one of the things you can do, as long as you have two, th two uh, crystals of the same thing, even if they don't get up to 100, you can use that and try to get the agility up that way. Fortunately, this is it for me for agility up. And I just kind of want one more gem. That's kind I'm of the goal here. So as long as I can get that up to 100, I'll be happy. There we go. Finally, at the end, we got it. We got all the gems there. We even got heat on the bleed defense. Not that it matters too much for me, but we got bleed plus. That could be useful. I think I have a character that makes things bleed. And then agility by 14 there. All right. I think we're close to done here. I don't think there were too many more gems that I cared about here. Uh, aerial cloak bleed plus the agility down. Just not my favorite. Muscle up can be useful. It can be but it's not necessarily my favorite. Yeah, I don't think there was anything else that really stood out as something that I wanted to care about, other than maybe the ether, but uh, we've kind of gone down that road before, haven't we? So I don't think there was anything else. That is all the 
Oh, we got an achievement. All the crafting that I wanted to take care of today. So let's take a look at the achievement that I got. Received a synergy bonus more than 500 times. That is the max for that one. So even by the game standard, I've, I've done quite a bit of gem crafting, even though it doesn't necessarily feel like I have. All right, so our next step is to look in the Collectopedia and to see what I have done here uh, on the last one, I believe. Oh, we do have the Minute Man Mantis. Uh, we will put that down. I did trade for that one, remember? So we have completed the category. Gotten ourselves an AP up five as a result. Talk about good gems. Uh, but the Minute Mantis, a bu giant bug with 77 stripes. It never moves, so it's pretty hard to find. All right, Valak Mountain. Looks like I am short on one of them. That could be an issue. We'll have to see. But we'll start with the Sour Radish uh, that we only need one of. And it's not particularly good as a gift. And I have 11 of them. If you are short on them um, from Zoghead Past, just go to the right. That's probably the best place. If you're really struggling, check the wiki. But, uh, well, I have 11 and I only needed one. So chances are you're not struggling with this particular one. Sour Radish. The sour taste will give you a kick. Often used in alternative medicine. We have Ice Cabbage. I need uh, three of these. I believe I already turned that in, though. So we're going to go ahead and drop this one down. Uh, these can be found at night only in the Antal Den. That's my advice for you there. But once again, with well, with pretty much everything in Valak Mountain, if you're struggling with it, uh, I would recommend checking the wiki. They have very specific locations on where you can find these, uh, but I'm just kind of giving an overview as to where it is. But I believe I turned these in, so we're good to go. I believe this was for Colony 6 Reconstruction. Ice Cabbage only grows in cold places. It looks spicy, but actually it's not. Spicy Cabbage? Okay, why not? Then we have a girl corget or corget. You only need one of these. I have 13. I recommend Nuggle Waterfall for this one. But apparently they're not hard to find. A cute red cor... I think it's corget. Uh, sweet and succulent. Could be corget though. But there you go. Not too much there. Uh, then we have an amethyst vanilla. I only need one of these. I have 14. I recommend Zockhead Pass for this one. But once again, these are not the difficult ones to find. Let's go ahead and drop that down. And we've completed the category, earning ourselves heavy boots. It's the name of a song that I like. A strongly sour veg to warm you up. Available in cold lands. Tastes okay. Honestly, if it's vanilla and it just tastes okay, then it's not very good. All right. Now, the Ether Plum, remember that I said there was something special about this one. I only need one uh, for this, but I want another one for uh, the achievement. I have 11, so I have plenty. If you're looking for this one, though, I recommend Ignea Hill. But uh, I, I didn't struggle getting this one. Uh, there is an achievement with this one that I will show on screen, because why not? But the ether plum can be dropped. A satisfyingly sweet plum that is popular with the ladies. Then we have a fire apple. Uh, you only need one of these. These are a really good gift for Sharla. So you're going to want to hold on to these. If you're struggling to find them, I recommend Ignea Hill. But once again, check the wiki if you're struggling. Let's drop that down. Looks like an ordinary apple, but one bite and you'll be spouting flames. Then we have the Ruby Mangosteen. Let's go ahead and drop that one down. Sure. Uh, you only need... Uh, well, no, you need three of them. I have eight. Uh, did I turn in this one already? Probably not. But uh, we have as many as I'm going to need, definitely. Uh, not a particularly good gift to anybody. But if you're struggling to find these, Ignea Hill is probably your best spot for it. A fruit that sparkles like a jewel, outshines other fruits in tang tanginess. 
tanginess, tanginess. Uh, then we have a sour grape, speaking of tangy. Uh, you only need one of these. I have nine. I recommend Antal Den for this one. Not particularly good as a gift either. Uh, so let's go ahead and drop that down, completing the category, earning ourselves Chill Defense 3. I mean, I guess it makes sense. We are in Valak Mountain at this point, but still a little weird. Only level three, too. Sour grape. An astringency results from chewing. Ferment for a wonderful, wonderful fragrance. Sure. All right, then we have the Fortune Mallow. You only need one of these. I have 13. I spent a lot of time in Valak Mountain. We're not even done there yet. Um, I recommend the Apis Lair. If you're struggling to find these not particularly good as a gift so let's plop it down popular with women and children some find it too beautiful to behold and i have so many of them then we have the black peony uh i recommend uh befalger pe pedestal for this one i always struggle with that one befalger pedestal you only need one i have 12 not particularly good as a gift anyway when a petal falls it emits a sound that makes the heart leap well, then let's not let that happen. Uh, then we have a Fatal Belladonna. Once again, you only need one of these. I have seven. I recommend Apis Lair if you're struggling to find these. Completing our category by plopping that down, getting Confuse Resist 3. Okay. Fatal Belladonna looks like a fairy at play. Makes everyone smile. That's nice. We have Wet Rats. <laughs> Completely different thing here all right um i need six i have six uh, i recommend the cave southeast of bagnar snowfield uh for this one um that's the best that i can really tell you not particularly good as a gift let's drop it down although it has thick soggy fur cuddling one keeps you warm it's it's soggy all right then we have an ice monkey you only need one of these. I have six. I recommend the Antal Den for this one. Not particularly good as a gift, so let's plop it down. Dwells in rock crevices and cold lands. Its skin is smooth like ice. Okay, we're moving on. Then we have a crystal frog. I only need one of these as well. I have four. I recommend the Antal Den for this one uh, if you are struggling. Let's go ahead and plop it down. Not particularly good as a gift. Most of these aren't. There's only a couple here and there, but uh, nothing particularly good here. This frog collects fulgurite pieces and sticks them all over its body. Wasn't that great? Then we have a mud squirrel. What, what are with the animals here? Nothing pleasant. We have a wet rat. Maybe the ice monkey. You never know about the ice monkey. But the crystal frog and mud squirrel. They don't sound like good things. I only need one of these. I have 15. I recommend the Nagul waterfall for this one. If you are struggling to find it. So we have completed this category once more. Getting ourselves Aura Heal 2. That could be quite useful. Mud squirrel secretes a protective oil on its skin. A great little swimmer. Unfortunately, I am missing one of the items here. It looks like it was something that only shows up at night, uh, which might have been my issue with it. I only need one, though, so I'll just go around until I find one off screen. For the time being, though, we have a black ash. Uh, I need one of these. I have nine. Uh, once again, night only on the black ash. I would recommend West of Ignia Hill for this one. Textured stone made up of lumps of charcoal. All right. Then we have emerald snow. Luckily, that's green right there. Uh, you only need one of these. I have four, so let's plop this one down as well. I recommend Nagul Waterfall for this one. Green snow made of wind-scattered leaves accumulated over time. That could be pretty. Depends. Could also be very ugly. <laughs> Depends. Uh, then we have a rabbit stone. I recommend the Antal Den for this one. You only need one. I have ten. I have so many of these right now. So let's plop that down. No, per nothing particularly good as a gift right here. A red gemstone, the color of a rabbit's eye. I've never actually looked closely enough at a rabbit's eye to tell you the color of it, but if you say so. Then we have a broom icicle. I need three of these. I only have the one. I don't 
think I've turned this one in, so I might have to uh, run around to find some of these. I'm going to go ahead and put this one down, though. Not particularly good as a gift, either. Finally branched like a broom. It's useless for sweeping, though. Why would you try? Then we have a frost glass. I need three of these. I believe I've turned it in already. Well, I have four anyway. Uh, so we're going to go ahead and put this one down. I recommend the entrance of Valak Peak uh, for this one. I don't think we've actually been there. I also recommend that for the broom icicle. Apparently I was close by since I got so many of these. Frost glass. Shulk was shivering as he named it. No one knows if it's ice or glass. It's real easy to test that kind of thing. You know, just leave Valak Mountain and see if it melts. Then we have large handcuffs. Always a favorite. We only need one. I have one. I recommend the Antal Den for this one. Let's go ahead and put it down. And we've completed the category. Get chill plus three. I already have number five, so not necessarily my favorite, but I'll take it. Large handcuffs. Didn't take Ryan long to name these. Big green rings made of monster fur. Oh, they're furry handcuffs, are they, Ryan? You named them, huh? Do you have something on the mind? All right, so I need to go out and collect a gypsum branch. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and look for that one off screen. I will meet you when that is done. Ran around for about 10 minutes and was able to find something here. Uh, I said that I recommended the cave southeast of the uh, Bagnar Snowfield, but I found it outside. Uh, it's way over here for me. I was just kind of roaming around. It, I took two laps around uh, before I was able to find one here. Uh, but I did get the gypsum branch that I was looking for. So let's put that in our collectopedia. Then we can start taking care of other things. There's the gypsum branch. I have the one uh, that is all that I need with it. It's not uh, particularly good as a gift either. But what I care about right now is completing this page. So we have completed the category for nature, and we get ourselves heavy gear as a result, but we have completed the area, which is probably much more important, and we have earned ourselves a Ceresis Cutlass. We'll see if that is good. Sounds like it's for Dunban. And we have a gypsum branch. A branch from the ice tree sends a beam of light into the sky at night. Very nice. Now it's in a book. Uh, I believe that is everything up to this point. Well, except for Bios's interior, but like I said, we can't do anything there. Uh, we could probably still do a little bit more with the other, but uh, we're putting that off for the time being. So, we are pretty damn good there. Uh, I did want to show off, uh, well, one thing before I start going really deep into uh, the gifting that I'm about to do. Uh, remember, there's... Still a lot of affinity that I need. Oh, there it is. 666 to 777. It's better than a lot of the other stuff that he's got around there. Anyway, uh, what I wanted to do is find the ether plum that I picked up. There's one. And I want to actually give this to Dunban. So we're going to have uh, Charlotte do it because Charlotte and Dunban get along quite nicely. Uh, simply because most of the time that I have Dunban in the party, Charlotte's there healing them. Uh, so they can afford this, so to speak. Uh, so let's find Dunban here. We're going to go ahead and give him an Ether Plum. Yeah, he really does not like that. He does not like that one bit. And in fact, you get an achievement for giving something that he does not like. Thanks, but no thanks has been earned. Give, gave Dunban a gift he truly hated. So, there's that. So, we got that done. Uh, now, I am going to warp out of here. I like hanging around Colony 6. It feels like, like those people owe me a bit for all the work that I have done for them. Granted, a lot of people owe me considering all the work that I've done for them, but... Feels like in Colony 6, like this place would be nothing without me. Although I'm sure they do a lot of work too. So while I am here, I am going to spend some time uh, gifting. Uh, what I care about is trying to get the party uh, to like each other a little bit more. I'm going to try to focus for the time being on um, people that have blue affinity links between them. 
So, do I actually care about uh, Shulk and Dunban? I have a list going of the things that I care about. Yes, I care about Shulk and Dunban, so I'll try to get them up to uh, purple. And then I will try to work on uh, Sharla, who needs some work with Ricky and Melia. I also need uh, Dunban and Melia. And I think that is it. I mean, Shulk and Ricky and Melia, well, Shulk and Ricky and Shulk and Melia also could use some work. Uh, Ryan can use work with everybody that's still green for him, which is pretty much everybody. I'll try to do some work with that, but my main focus is going to be uh, getting those blues up to uh, purples if I can. And Melia and Ricky have a, a bit of work to do when it comes to that. So I'm going to start gifting like you would not believe. And I will be back when that is all taken care of. So I have been trading. As a result, I got Master Tradesman. Traded 100 times. Looks like that is going to be it for the amount of trades that I needed for the achievement. I was doing it with uh, Shura here, who at night uh, will give us a blue change, which are really, really nice for Shulk, and they're relatively cheap, so I highly recommend trading what you can with Shura. I'm going to get back to it, though. All right, I have spent a considerable amount of time off screen trading for things and gifting things. Uh, so let's take a look at what I have accomplished as a result of that. And then I'll go over uh, how I actually did it. So I still have more work to do. Don't get me wrong, but I did get Shulk and Dunban up to purple. I got uh, Ricky and Sharla up to purple. I got Sharla and Melia up to purple. Uh, even though there's a blue between Sharla and Dunban, it's not important for me to change that all just yet. And I got Dunban and Melia up to purple as well. I will continue doing this off screen, but what I have done is I have given Shulk uh, blue chains. Uh, Shura trades for those. You saw her in the southern part of the commercial district at night. I will uh, probably continue trading for that kind of stuff since it is relatively cheap and it is the best thing for Shulk in the game in terms of a gift. Uh, Sharla, I gave what uh, sour gooseberries I had left uh, for Ricky. There were a couple things that I traded for... Uh, him. I gave him what moth crawlers I had left. Unfortunately, he can't trade for those. But uh, I did trade for rubber mantises. That is a trade that Nopo Rick gives away on the farm in Colony 6. For me, he's only there uh, between 4 and 12 uh, a.m. So that's how I got them. And I also uh, traded for soft sea cucumbers from Cherry, who's at the Pollen Orb storehouse during the day. Over on uh, Melia, I gave her what Dober Corgis I had left, but uh, if you trade with Gorman, it's an overtrade with him, but it's quite expensive. So I found a different trade that I liked, which was a Chimera Rabbit. Barry Jamie trades for that back in Colony 6, so that is what I used for her. And that is what I did to get all of this done. You might notice we're back in Aerith Sea. Uh, I thought that we had unlocked the island, but indeed we had not unlocked it yet. I have uh, an island to go to. It's right there. Uh, this is the Searath Lighthouse uh, Island. I believe this is Hovering Reef 4. Indeed it is. You can see there's a heart to heart there. That is where we are headed. Uh, there are is a reason for me to go back there later uh, but I don't believe I want to do it just yet uh, but as long as it doesn't start raining we'll be fine this is the final uh, green heart to heart that is available to us so I want to go out of my way in order to get it done uh, there are no blue heart to hearts blue affinity heart to hearts there is a green one that is left for us to take care of so I want to head for it there's lots of purples that are available to us. I don't think we've done any purples yet in terms of the heart to hearts. We'll start doing that now uh, and then I will continue uh, with the uh, with the gifting and trading off screen and we'll see if I can't get other people up to purple. I do want to spend at least some time 
doing that and, and trying to get the heart to heart. Uh, the earlier the better, obviously, uh, because affinity does affect a lot of things, including how we act in battle. And I'm not necessarily as high of a level as I was hoping to be at this point, so every uh, little thing that can help would be appreciated. All right, almost to the island. Here we can find, eventually, are, are you not, there we go, Sleeping Dragon Isle. Uh, there is a gigantic monster here by the name of Carbon Tood. Uh, I'm going to avoid him. Does he aggro? He does aggro. It's based on sound, which is not good. I have to think where the heart to heart is around here. It says like it's right here. Uh, there's also a Racti Lexos, but he's not nearly as scary. Um, shit. You're coming this way, aren't you? Ugh. There's also some, uh, Grady's out there that I've been avoiding. Hopefully changing the time tonight gets him to go away. Nope! Still, still just hanging out there. Alright. Well, like I said, there's a heart-to-heart -heart here that I want to take advantage of. Um, shit. No! Swim for it! He doesn't know how to swim. I don't, I don't understand the logic behind it either, but that is the case. I was running a little bit too fast. <laughs> Can't go too fast here. So, like I said, there is a heart-to-heart. I want to take advantage of it. I'm going to have to drop a save and kind of hope for the best. 